there is a small but very loud community claiming the earth is flat, and that the sun, the moon and the stars are very close. We use the stars for navigation and have done so for millennia. The positions of the stars are well known and easy to confirm by simple observations. On the flat earth model it should be a relatively easy task to calculate the height of the north star, if the star is close. To do this we need to make some observations, and using simple trigonometry, finding the angle to the north star is a familiar activity for anyone using a celestial telescope on an equatorial mount north of the equator. This is how you align the telescope. If this do not work in the flat earth model, either all astronomers in the world, professional and amateur, have no clue where in the world they are, or the flat earth model is rubbish. So, to confirm the north star actually is right above the north pole we make observations equidistant on opposite sides of the pole. We make one near Oslo in Norway, and one just north of Homer, Alaska, and confirm the angle is 60 degrees from both sides. At a 60 degrees elevation from Oslo we can calculate the height to 5768 kilometers. We make another observation from Milan in Italy and find the star at just over 45 degrees, and calculate the height of the star to be 5032 kilometers. Very strange, it cannot be refraction causing the difference. Refraction, if there was any would put the observation from Italy above the one from Oslo. We make another observation from Long Year Bien on Svalbard in Norway. We find the star at 78 degrees elevation and height of the star to be 9805 kilometers. Watch my film about the height of the sun, where we found the sun was no longer visible at a distance just under 10,000 kilometers, and apparent size of 17 arc minutes. How is this star, a tiny dot in the sky, not even an arc second wide? visible at roughly the same distance. Let us try one more observation, this time much further south. We make an observation from Kano in Nigeria. We find the North Star at an elevation of 12 degrees. Distance from Kano to the North Pole is 8,673 kilometers. That puts the star at an altitude of 1,842 kilometers. With every observation we make we will see a pattern emerging. The lines begin to form a circle. Why is that? It is because these observations are made on a globe. Every one of these are parallel to the axis of rotation. You know, as we are observing from the 45th, 60th and 78th parallel, that is how you determine what latitude you are on, using the elevation of the pole star. This will only work on a globe, thus proving both the globe, and the size of the globe. Since these observations are parallel and pointing to a very distant star, they also prove a very large universe. The direction of south depend on where you are on the flat earth map. Looking south from Africa, South America and Australia is looking in three completely different directions. How can everyone south of the equator see the southern cross due south? Some have suggested everyone has a personal dome off view, some kind of personal star dome. This is a dome 12,000 kilometers wide, and project the stars correctly. I'm sure this kind of pseudo-religious nonsense would pass for wisdom two or three hundred years ago, but not today, not since the invention of photography. Whose personal dome am I using if I connect to and use an unmanned remote telescope, or if, I let my telescope take time-lapse photos, when I'm not around? This is just shit for brains make it up as you go along nonsense. How does star navigation work in this model? Why is the North Star at different altitude for every latitude? How do we see the Southern Cross due south in all directions? Why is the Southern Cross at different altitude for every latitude? Whose personal star dome is at play when I use an unmanned remote telescope? 